Welcome back summer right around the corner and the temperatures are already heating up and if it's too hot for you that means it is hot for your pets. It can certainly take a toll. So joining us now we have veterinarian Dr. Ruth McPeat. Hey Dr. Ruth, thanks for joining us this morning. Hi, thanks for having me on. Always the cutest setup. I just absolutely love your little buddy here on these segments. So with these temperatures in the 90s, we know some spots already flirting with triple digits. How can can we keep our furry family members cool and hydrated this summer? Well, the first thing I recommend is that whenever possible, people keep their pets inside where it's nice and cool. If your pet has to be outside for any length of time, it's really important that they have water and access to shade. You can also take advantage of the numerous cooling products that are available. K&H makes a bunch of cool uh, cooling products, pun intended. Um, they have this pet cot that you can see my dog is resting on. The cool thing about this is that it's raised, so it keeps your pet off of the hot ground. And then the center is made of mesh, so it has airflow coming through to keep them cool. They also have cooling beds that you can fill with cool water, and those actually help draw the heat away from your pet. The second thing is hydration. You mentioned it. it's really important that we keep our pets hydrated. When it's hot outside, they're gonna drink more water and water will also evaporate. So make sure that your, pet have plenty, your pets have plenty of bowls. Make sure if you're hiking that you're taking bowls and water with you for your pet to drink. Okay, really good tips there. And you mentioned with the cot, keeping them off that hot ground. Let's talk more about that with temperatures reading in the 90s. That means asphalt can get really hot, like up to 140 degrees. So how do we keep their paws safe? And also if we're on that walk, keeping them from overheating on the walk as well. Thank you for mentioning that. It's really important that people realize the ground really heats up. It can be 20 degrees hotter than the air temperature. So I always recommend people first check the ground, put your hand or foot down. If it's too hot for you, it's too hot for your pets. A good rule of thumb is if you can't keep your hand down for five seconds, it's too hot. So you either need to put booties on your pet's feet to protect them so they don't get a burn or you need to walk them at a different time. So early morning, early evenings are the best time for walks and exercise when it's really hot. If you have to take them out when it's real hot, again, use booties to protect those feet. The booties, the hat, all of these really cute accessories are absolutely adorable. But of course, we have to talk about the serious side of this, something really important that we unfortunately see every summer, uh, people forgetting their pets in their car or even on purpose leaving your pet in the car. As a veterinarian, if you could talk about the risks associated with that. Yes, and most people know not to do it, but they think that it's okay for a few minutes. They think they're just running in the store. But as you mentioned, this is really dangerous. It can be deadly for your pets. Even with the windows cracked and that were rolled down on an 85 degree day, the interior of your car can heat up to deadly levels within 10 minutes. So really, really important that if you can't bring your pet inside wherever you're going, don't bring them. Leave them at home where it's safe. It's not worth the risk. Every year we see pets that die from this. So please don't bring them in. Again, it's just not safe in the summer. Um, just don't take the risk. Dr. Ruth, the pet vet, thank you for joining us. Where can people find more info if they need it? Um, I have some great information on my website, drruthpetvet.com, and even some discounts for some of the cooling products if you're interested. All right, there you have it. Thanks for joining us. We'll be right back with much more news and weather right after this.